Hello, and thanks for joining us today. My name is Doug, and this is the Wired Nerdy Podcast featuring retro reviews. We are continuing our quick look into the Fallout series with a look back at Fallout 3. Now, this is a hard one for me to review only because I never got the chance to play it back when it first came out. It was probably because 2008 was such an amazing year for games. Games such as Grand Theft Auto 4, Dead Space, Far Cry 2, Battlefield Bad Company, and even one of my personal favorites, Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. But the list goes on and on. That's for another show. So life went on, but I just couldn't get back to the wasteland at least until 2015 with the release of Fallout 4, which I have logged hundreds of hours on multiple PCs and consoles. I truly fell in love with the world of Fallout again. It had been a long time since I'd played Tactics, and this was a completely different game. Before making this review, I had the chance to play Fallout 3, and boy, I shouldn't have skipped it. What a change from the days of Fallout 1, 2, and even the much debatable tactics entry. Everything from the player creation to the skills and special. You know, those skills and specials that I've talked about in the last couple of videos. It definitely seems like Bethesda got it right out of the box with this one. There may be some spoilers, but... For those just exploring the world of Fallout, but it did come out in 2008, so you've had a fair warning. The game starts you off as a child and you get to customize your character. New options include faces, hairstyles, sex, and race. I'll try to avoid comparing it to Fallout 4, but during the initial setup and storyline, I thought it was pretty good for the time it came out. One of the things that immediately caught my attention was the father's voice. I thought it was a certain actor, and I was very happy to find that I was correct in my assumption. Your fa- your father in Fallout 3 is none other than Liam Neeson. You know, he always rescues people who are taken, trained Bruce Wayne to become the Batman. He even helped rescue hundreds and thousands during the Holocaust of World War II. He isn't alone here. He's joined by many more voice actors, including Malcolm McDowell, Ron Perlman, and Odette Annabelle, to name a few. Before I get too far ahead, I want to bring in my own special voice. Please welcome my friend and fellow co-host, Keith. He is going to run us through the juicy details of this review. I will catch up with you all here in a little bit. Thanks, Doug. Hey, guys. It's Keith here. Released back in the irradiated days of 2008 by Bethesda Game Studios, Fallout 3 descended upon the gaming world like a mushroom cloud. Available on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, and PC, this post-apocalyptic adventure had a scavenging for bottle caps and dodging radioactive ghouls like there was no tomorrow. And hey, in the wasteland, there may not be a tomorrow. Let's touch on the plot, as Doug mentioned a moment ago. Imagine waking up one day in a bomb shelter, only to find out that your dear old dad has gone AWOL. Cue the quest to find dear old dad through the treacherous waste of Washington, D.C., which is now a smoldering ruin called Capital Wasteland. Along the way, you'll meet colorful characters, shady factions, and decide the fate of the wasteland itself. Will you be the savior, or just another irradiated schmuck? One of the standout features of Fallout 3 is its setting, the Capital Wasteland. It's a twisted mirror of the once majestic Washington, D.C. Imagine the White House reduced to rubble, the Capitol building looming like a skeletal reminder of a lost era, and the Washington Monument standing tall amongst the ruins like a silent sentinel. It's a postcard from hell, and we're just living in it. Every corner of the Capital Wasteland is dripping with history and lore, from the irradiated swamps of the Potomac to the crumbling suburbs of Arlington. You'll stumble across iconic landmarks like the Lincoln Memorial, which is now overrun by super mutants, and the Jefferson Memorial, home to a sinister secret that could spell doom for the entire wasteland. And let's not forget about the underground labyrinth of DC Metro where danger lurks around every corner, and the only thing more confusing than the layout are the mutant rats. But it's not all doom and gloom in the capital wasteland. Amidst the rubble and ruin, you'll find pockets of civilization struggling to survive. 
from the ramshackled town of Megatown, which is built around an unexploded atomic bomb, to the bustling markets of Rivet City, housed in a rusting aircraft carrier, the wasteland teams with colorful characters and hidden treasures. Just watch out for the raiders, the enclave, and whatever else the wasteland decides to throw at you. In the end, the Capital Wasteland is more than just a backdrop for your adventures and quests. It's a character in its own right, a living, breathing testament to humanity's resilience in the face of annihilation. In a world where the cockroaches have mutated, Fallout 3's graphics manage to capture the desolation and beauty of a world gone mad. Sure, the character models might look like they've all been dipped in radioactive sludge and look a bit goopy, but it adds to the charm. From the crumbling ruins of iconic landmarks to the eerie glow of a rad storm, the Capital Wasteland is definitely a sight to behold, especially for 2008 when it was released. The color palette is a bit muted, but it helps to add to the ambience. The sound design in Fallout 3 is like music to our radiation-soaked ears. In a word, it's iconic. The haunting melodies of the ambient soundtrack perfectly complement the bleak atmosphere. At the same time, the voice acting brings the denizens of the wasteland to life, or whatever passes for life in this radioactive hellscape. As Doug mentioned before, there are so many voice actors that give their best performance in this game, it's worth playing just to listen to those alone. And who can forget the satisfying clink of finding that sweet, sweet loot? Let's get into the meat of what makes this game a classic. It's the gameplay. Where do I even begin? Fallout 3 combines the best elements of role-playing games and first-person shooters, like radioactive peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They just go really well together when no one thought that they would. You also have options. You want to talk your way out of a sticky situation? Go for it. Prefer to solve your problems with a well-placed headshot? Knock yourself out. I mean, literally, if you're not careful, you could. Many people were skeptical of how Bethesda would transition from the traditional turn-based combat in Interplace Fallout 1 and 2. The famous VATS system, that's V-A-T-S, is the key element to merging first-person shooter with role-playing, which lets you slow down time and target specific body parts with surgical precision. It's like playing surgeon in a world where the only medicine is a bottle of Nuka-Cola. It not only added a level of strategy to the combat encounters, but it also helped with the game's pacing. Fallout 3 isn't just another run-of-the-mill RPG shooter. It's an open-world, choose-your-own-adventure book on steroids. Every decision you make, from the factions you align with to the quests you undertake, has consequences that ripple throughout the wasteland. And with the addition of the Broken Steel downloadable content, you can continue your adventure even after the main story ends. Because let's face it, once you've tasted the sweet nectar of power armor, you're never going to want to leave. In conclusion, Fallout 3 is a timeless classic that stands as a testament to the enduring power of nuclear apocalypse. So grab your trusty pit boy, load up on those stem packs, and prepare for the adventure of a lifetime. Just remember, war. War never changes. But Fallout 3 sure did change the way we look at post-apocalyptic gaming. I hope you like this short review from the Wired Nerdy Podcast. As always, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and check out our weekly podcast on Spotify, Apple, and all other major podcast apps. We're also available on video format on Spotify and YouTube. Stay tuned for more classic games coming soon. Please send us a line and let us know what games you want us to cover. Thanks again. Thank you.